Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Import Candy Reviews here on Playframe. I'm here with my friend Dan in... What's this place called? Cloud Cuckoo Thank Land. you. I was... I don't know what of the game that I was just, like, playing that was messing me up, like Cloud Top something. I was playing some other game that had a similar named level, and it doesn't matter. Let's figure out how to solve this puzzle box. Clearly Red Mumbo is not the solution. Not, Red Mumbo's not, but Blue Mumbo Blue is. Blue Mumbo, though. Just might so, be what we're looking for. I don't remember where was it. This was it this raised one, I think? It might be this raised one. Let's Ice Blue, I think, went to Mumbo. Either this that's either this is either Mumbo or the No, it's not the track. This is Mumbo. Yes. Yep. Mumbo, yes. So we we're gonna grab Mumbo. Yes. We're gonna go up uh and climb that little thin platform. Right. To activate Okay, see this? Nice. We call you. You got my Minjo, and I shot your Jinjo. <laughs> you think he even knows? Have you even... Are you even paying attention to what's happening around you anymore, Mumbo? Welcome again, Baron Bird. We've got a Globo. Are we not even going to mention gonna... the imposter? <laughs> there, was a, there was a robot version of you. There was a robot version of you, bud. If that had happened to me, I'd want to know. Yeah, what if what if there's like Dan evil Dan lore? Oh wow. And like you know, suddenly there's there's an evil Dan. There's like evil Dan's out there. And we're just over here playing Banjo Tui. We don't even know. <laughs> no one told us. Yeah, what are our evil Dan like imposters up to? They're playing like NBA jam or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Get out of my house. Yeah, what what would the evil versions of us if they had a let's play, like what would they be doing? <laughs> It's, I can't even guess. It's like, they, they, it's like Oregon Trail, but they're making all their passengers die. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they're just like they're the they're the players who are a hundred percent just like yeah taking ladders out of swimming pools and Sims mm, around mm -hmm. the clock. A hundred percent. That's it. Just inviting their friends over to watch them do like every single Mortal Kombat fatality. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. No, that's probably fine. I needed to be here yeah. anyway. Thanks for the help. You've helped he, me. He gave us a little push. Ow. Yeah. I, I did notice when we got that achievement for the mumbo shocks, yeah. everyone was just as confused as us. Because <laughs> there's no reason we should have gotten that achievement then. Because it was like we were we hit an ally with it, and it gave oh. us the like 20 zaps. We oh, killed 20 oh man! Or yeah, I gosh, I'd forgotten about that. I was going through and I like read comments for one of the recent episodes, and everyone's like, "Yeah, I have no idea what happened there." And I'm like, "What? What did happen there?" Ow! No B, clue. B, no. Okay, mumbo magic. Mumbo. Hope this works. Rain dead. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I hope it works on seeds we haven't planted yet. Oh, that's a good point. You know, do you think we're gonna have to bring Mumbo back? Might here? To, oh, I didn't expect a rainbow bridge. That's, oh, that's nice too. <laughs> Not what I had in mind, but yeah, um, yeah, same. Thanks, Mumbo. Guess we're going to the casino. Hey, and that too. Great. Maybe it's just always raining now. Maybe? No. It stopped. After the storm. <laughs> it's very dramatic. What 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 do we get? What does that mean? I'm curious. Huh. I always feel suspicious when a game gives you an achievement for like doing something required in the playthrough. Yeah. Even though I've kind of like come to terms with it being like it feels like that's yeah most often what I see achievements and trophies for. Well, we achieved something. Yeah. Yep. Let's just do that cutscene. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for the achievement. Thanks. Thanks, Xbox. Thank you, Xbox. Yeah. Where? Where door? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Your jumps are not great, buddy. Yeah, the little jumps. The littlest of jumps. Yeah. Die. 
There's so many. There's so many. They never stop to. Just endless. Here we go. Okay. What if that hop was a little too high for him and we had to figure <laughs> out another way to get... Oh, man. Peak frustration. Very. Oh, it's gone now. I'm used to those respawning so constantly. I know. Okay. So now we can... Kind of just fly there, honestly. Go fly? Oh, there you go. Oh. He heard you. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean the Minjos are robots, too? Because they do make the little, like, electric buzz. I mean, I feel like they gotta be, right? Right? Who built all Ooh, these yeah, things? Who, is, it, are, is this Grunty? I wonder. Grunty making Minjos? I mean, she's definitely got, like, an industrial streak going. She does. She's an inventor. She does do that. She builds machines. She's got the robots. Um, you know what I think we should do? Huh. Find a Globo. That'd be great. It's... Oddly, they finally decided to hide the things. Yeah. I don't even know where to start looking now. Normally I would say, oh, well, let's just go to their place and look outside. Yeah, because we, we found one just in the water, right? Yeah, yeah, one was just in the water inside the place. There we go. Maybe we can do we this can... with the little rainbow? Yeah, but like maybe there'll be a... Heck, who knows? Maybe there's a globo in here. Run! Any predictions? Hmm. What this could be? It feels like there's going to be a character in here and some sort of game. Maybe, like, blue is worth three or something like that. <laughs> something in which blue is worth three feels uh -huh. likely. Or a boss. The pot of gold. Ooh. You're going to be a liar for sure. Totally liar. Yep. Oh, look at him. Yeah, getting predictable. Um... I believe we need to stand on that thing and then oh. go first person. Oh. And look around. Hmm. Wait a wait a minute. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember. There is an exit door, though. There is an exit door. I was just wondering, like, is this the yeah, biggest was, game of memory? I was curious. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Suddenly wondering if I don't have what I need in here. Hmm. Can we can we shoot at those eggs? Because oh. are those little holes? Yeah, those are inter yeah, those are openings, aren't they? Okay. It's a little weird. It's hard to see. Yeah, very hard to see. Which makes me think probably not, but like maybe grenades. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess it's grenades. Oh, they're they're colored. Oh, they are colored. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, Look at that. They, this All is right. why they made for so many eggs. <laughs> they needed to for this puzzle, you see. Mm -hmm. And ice. And Cute. Ice. All right. Look at that. Okay, we figured it out. Look at there that. you go. The puzzle. Gold Ooh, and gold. eggs. Oh, geez. Okay, that's what I remembered. All right. <laughs> Welcome. You're in my fabled pot of gold shooting challenge. To win an ill-deserved prize, you must hit at least 75 jiggies in 45 seconds. If you manage to beat 90, I'll give you an extra prize. I reckon you won't hit 20. Fancy a go? Oh, yes, please. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So... Oh, and they like you gotta hit all the different mm -hmm. ones. Okay. All right, all right. It is tricky, but there's a lot to shoot at, so it's okay. We can we can make this work. A lot to shoot at, so I think we needed 75, and 90 will give us a bonus thing. Gotcha, and I don't know how many there are total. So I've been skipping a bunch, just assuming it's going to be fine. I think they reappear. I could be wrong. That would be good for me. Seems like I'm having better luck if I just kind of fling around wildly rather than trying to, like, specifically aim. Ooh, this is actually going to be hard, though. Oh, they don't reappear. Okay, never oh, mind. Dear. I was wrong. Oh... Can we get 75? Two more. One more. There, there we go. go. Yeah. Boy, 90 would be tricky, though. Like, doable, but hard. Oh, your lucky flea bag. You hit 83 jiggies, which wins you a second prize. Oh, we have to hit 90. All right, then. So be it. I hope you all like the sound effect. Well, let, me, let me pick this up first. 
Get lost then. This game's too good for you anyway. <laughs> you got an attitude. You don't have to be so mean to us. I like Grunty. I love Grunty. Okay. We can do it. All right. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Nice, nice and thorough. Trying to be. Probably too thorough. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, don't get stuck in a situation like that where you're just shooting in between everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, had a nicer start than we've got going here. Oh, yeah, this was a good panel. Eh. Just gotta kind of sweep across the things. Don't try to... super focus on any individual one. Mm-hmm. Okay. 30 more. Oh, boy. It's gonna be... It's, oh, it's, it's a rough... It is rough. I wonder if... Hmm. I wonder if you'd, like, just hold it and spin, and then, like, lower a little and spin, and lower Let's a little try and spin it. Let's try that. Let's try, like, a, yeah, just a spin I don't, of I don't increasing know. elevation. Yeah, I'm curious. It feels like there's a... Cheesable way through this. This feels like it's actually gonna pull something off for us. Okay, everyone just look away for a bit. Yeah, just to maybe don't look directly at the screen for a little bit, everybody, but this is actually gonna work for us, I think. It's working way better. Yeah, yeah, this feels yeah. more effective so far, largely. Yeah, I think we had 45 with 18 seconds left last time. Yeah, so. we will still need to like focus fire some of them now, because there were some we were missing here, but. This is working a little better. Ten more. Right. Oh, boy. Five more. One more. Come on. Hey. Yeah, we got it. Hey, good trick. Good thinking. Oh, no. I knew it was too easy. You hit 91 jiggies and win my golden first prize. Hey. Hey, look at that. We did it. We did. You might have won all my prizes, but I bet you can't hit all a hundred. You kidding me? No. <laughs> Get lost then. <laughs> this game is too good for me. I agree. It's like, we don't have time for that, Grunty. We absolutely don't, Grunty. Let's go bother Gerard with that nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Gerard's problem. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being antagonistic <laughs> to a dude I've never met. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jared's lovely. He's a sweetheart. He seems like it. I, um... Shoot. <laughs> Sorry, you, were, you had a thought. I had a thought. Thought went away. It was... I don't know. I don't remember, <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Oh, no. Not a clue. It was something I think about that minigame. A hundred jiggies. Too good for us. Too Don't good. have time for this. Too Not completing good. it. Nope. nope. It's gone. Gone. It's gone. Into the abyss. Alright, well we've solved that thing. Okay, so now we can split up Banjo. Yes. And which... was it... Was it Blue Mumbo we needed to go to and climb the vine? Or was it the Red Mumbo? Uh... I think it was Blue. I think you're right. Which, that's the ice blue. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try that out. Yeah, just having two narrowed down that we're, like, super sure about now does yeah. help to at least reduce... The, excuse me. Reduce the number of doors we have to keep track of. Okay. Vine. <laughs> up. Vine up, and then we're gonna have to... Cross some thorns. Yerp. That's okay. I've come equipped. I'm gonna heal up first. Oh, that's a good Before... Point. Things get bad. Nope. There's so many ways to use a backpack. Who knew? We've honestly been wasting it holding a bird. <laughs> See how many things we can do with this? Okay. Now we go. Boing. Go away, B. No. <laughs> Leave me alone. That B caused me so much frustration. <laughs> oh no. I was just, I was holding my breath. I'm really glad I got lucky there. <laughs> we float. You know, see, technically we're flying right now, so the eyeball you think would be shooting at us. <laughs> it's like, it's really just kind of mystified, and who can blame it? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, is that bear flying? I don't even see a bird in its backpack. That made sense before. Now, though. 
just puzzled. All right, we climb. We climb. I don't know why we need just banjo here. I guess we needed just banjo to get here. No, we can just fly here now. Yeah, we could just fly. So we clearly need just banjo. It's for probably some a good reason to have just banjo here, though. Uh, a flight pad, flight pad, feathers. feathers. What do we got? Uh, inside the cheese wedge. We can't breathe in this cheese because it's stinky. That just makes sense. Spikes. Mm -hmm. But I believe there is a thing we can do. We could do that. Nope. Or she does it. I think that's still situation. coughing, but my air is still here. All right, that works. Oh, nope, never okay. mind. Okay, air goes. Does go down. Never mind. I actually thought that worked. Um, yeah, I felt clever for a second there. Yeah, I know. There we, okay, so we have platforms with spikies, but we, which we can jump on with our, jump with our backpack. Okay, let's get let's get air and then start this fresh. I also want to kind of check out. There's sort of like another little hole here. And is there anything inside here that's uh, no? Okay. Just okay. Some, just some moldy cheese. We go. Have you ever had, like, really, like, stinky cheese? I don't think I ever have. Like, I'm not a huge, like... Like, I don't dislike cheese or anything, but yeah. I'm not a person who's just like, Yes! Cheese plate! Yeah. Can't wait to eat everything on it. So, like, I have not been super adventurous with cheese in the past. I, I definitely, like, try any cheese I come across. I just... I don't think I've ever come across, like, a stinky cheese. Like, what? what is it? Like, Limburger or something? Like Yeah, like, Kid Me heard so much about stinky and smelly cheeses. Yeah. That it was just sort of like a thing that kid me assumed. It's, it's one of those things. It's anvils and uh, quicksand. Quicksand, and yeah. <laughs> stuff that you assume as a kid, you hear about it all the time in your media, and you just sort of assume that adult you is going to have to be dealing with that nonsense all the with, time. I'm going to have to deal with this stinky cheese. It's something. just a world fill of, full of gross cheese, quicksand, and anvils, and pianos <laughs> getting dropped mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from ropes. There's no way this is all for a ginjo. Ah, oh. That was my bad. That's okay. <laughs> Let's just, here, we'll get air. Clean slate. Oh, I like his little, uh, like, kickflip he does with the bag. A little, uh, kick when he gets out of it. Oh, yeah, that's really cute. I like that. It's the equi- let's say, you know that, that trick where you, like, you flip your hat on your foot and yeah. it goes on your head? It's like that. <laughs> yes. Someone take a, a make a TikTok of you doing that with a Jansport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, jeez. No. Oh, that's tricky. Just quietly suffocating in a giant cheese, sitting in my backpack, waiting to Another ride Saturday an onion. Night. <laughs> <laughs> My friends all tell me to stop living this unhealthy life. Yeah. But it's who I am. Dan, you gotta leave you gotta leave the giant cheese alone. <laughs> and I'm like, it's, it's not good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't help myself. That was really good. It's like the perfect amount of like stupid yep. to finish yep. that up. That was great. That's, so, uh, that's my that's my tagline. The perfect amount of stupid. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, saved. saved. I think you can jump off now. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I assume we could just jump off. There's a little now. hole there. Yeah. Let's just go. Are you real? Yay. He's real. I really like. I'm impressed by the little bouncy, springy effect. Yeah. Like on surfaces like this, on an N64, that's pretty darned impressive. Yeah. So can we? We can. We could probably waddle uh, through that one. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Uh. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. And then that gets us over here. It's so weird that they use this, like, red glass for the level. Yeah, right? I'm very confused by it still. I keep on feeling like there's going to be some move I learned that allows me to break it, but maybe yeah. I should just be assuming I need to figure out how to get behind all of it. Yeah, I think I think that's it. It's just like... No, wrong. It definitely feels like I should be learning a move to get through this. Yeah, yeah. Is there is there like a Kazooie move still out here somewhere? Uh, I don't. I think we might have all the moves in the game. Maybe we have all the moves in the game. That's pretty cool. Didn't see anything else in here. Yeah, I think I think that was it. I think it was just that the stinky jiggy. <laughs> the tale of the stinky jiggy. There we go. All do right. You, do you remember that book, the uh, Stinky Cheese Man? No, that's not ringing a bell. It's like a fairy tale kind of. But it was it was like a 
kid's book. Okay. And, it sounds and, like a kid's and, book. And it had like the cover was like, you can't catch the stinky cheese man or something like that. Something about it, it sounds it, it, vaguely familiar. It was like it was like something's curse. Like it, it was almost like um, Mother Goose stories. Interesting. But like slightly darker. Ooh. But still kid friendly, you know. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember anything. I just remember the cover art for the image, and uh, I I don't know why. I don't know why that sticks out of my brain so much. <laughs> I, I, I bet you you've seen the cover. I bet I have. Now, like it does sound like something that I bet I've seen that somewhere. Ow. Yeah, double jump. There we go. Stinky Cheese Man and other fairy stupid tales. <laughs> that does sound super familiar. Kazooie! There we go. Hmm. Doo, doo, doo. Um, so, now okay. what can we do? We sorted that out. We've sorted out the gold casino. We've still got that ginger up there, obviously. We've Did we... We didn't go up red mumbo path with just Banjo yet. You're right. Was that a was just a, banjo? There one? was a vine there oh, too, and I think there okay. was another set of thorns we had to need to walk on. Well, let's try or, it. Or was that where we first hatched the floaty boy? Let's okay. Let, let's just go check it out. It's easy to go to scope out that vine, and I, but I think we came down that vine originally. Uh, this little guy. Yeah. Okay. I've seen that cover before. Yeah. Sneaky little cheese man. I don't remember anything about the actual story. I just remember the art. I don't even remember where I heard of it. Just probably saw it around as a kid or yeah. something. Do you, do you you remember this like scholastic book fair? Yeah, yes. I loved that as totally. a kid. It was like, oh, I've got to save my lunch money and buy a book and some erasers. <laughs> <laughs> where am I going? There's a yeah. oh. Uh oh. Well here's a pl okay, so we need to get Kazooie to fly all the way down here, mm -hmm. I guess. Okay. Alright. We got a flight. Let's let's go back then, because there is also there was something else up there. So we can climb up. It is weird to me how few globos we've seen around. Uh, so we can fly up. There was that for floating across there, where we can. Oh, we, we can. Just, we yeah. We should put the bean. We can just put a bean here anyway. Let's. We don't need. Are we? So are we gonna have? The question is that we have to do mumbo again. Right. Yep. Yep. We have yep, to yep, do yep, mumbo yep. again. Maybe we should fly around looking for more bean spots. Are, are there more than two? I guess I only have two beans. I, f I feel like that's it. Okay. I did only pick up two. Yeah. In, it, in that first zone. So, okay. Um. See, I, I tried to give you a point, Banjo Tui, but. <laughs> um. So we can use that to float there. I guess we'll need Banjo across there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll need to get Banjo only to uh, this side. So okay. We can get Banjo up from that vine. It's easy to do. That one's easy. We just need to get... All right, let's 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 get Mumbo we over there Mumbo and just again. go ahead and get this out of the way. Mm-hmm. And while we do that... Yes. We're going to try a new... <laughs> that sounds great. Something... <laughs> we need something to do in the meantime. All right. A or B, Dan? Hmm... I'm going to go with B. All right. B is the ocean one. Ooh. Ocean kick. I think it's, what was it, sea salt it's or like, something? Yeah, it's like a sea salt one. Yeah, like what's it have written on the on it's, the it's, actual text? It's something that does not clear. Save the blue ocean. Save the blue ocean, which is not a flavor I'm familiar with, but I looked it up, and it's sea salt, which I'm super curious about. I don't know if I've ever had like a sea salt candy thing. That's really interesting. Oh, see, now I know what Roxas is all about. He, that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's like chocolate with a little dash of salt in there. It's always weird to me, like, thinking of salt on any anything else besides, like, your, your, your standard salt items, you know? I guess foods that you, like, you have to have salt with it, right? Almost. It's, a, it's like sort of weird thinking of like salt where salt shouldn't be or where you yeah. wouldn't expect salt. But I feel like every time I've ever had salt on something that I didn't think should have salt on it, it's been good. Yeah. 
it's like it's just it's like just a flavor enhancer basically it really is i wish i could remember who wrote that original tweet of sort of like thus far we've only had like one delicious rock i'm gonna find another delicious rock <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna find it good on us finding like the tastiest rock that works I with know. everything though how did we do we're it we're just really hooked on this one rock it solves food it really does i like um i have like a big uh box of salt that's uh, like kosher salt because i like the the texture of it heck yeah yeah you, you can grab a nice pinch of it yes yeah, i don't cook but that's like it's like my favorite thing the salt i want just pinching salt and, and sprinkling it on a dish yeah like i always pinch salt even if it's just table salt type but yeah. that seems way more satisfying oh it's very it's very good that and like ground pepper if you're not grounding your pepper fresh <laughs> Just do it. Just go out and buy like a little, you know, like five dollar pepper grinder. It'll change your pepper life, <laughs> your pepper experience. Definitely agree. It's like the quickest way I feel like to improve like meals. Yeah. If you're if you're already using pepper for like a topping. Yeah, it's not. It's like not even more of a headache even like you just pick up a yeah you pick up a different implement to put the pepper in and you buy a different kind of pepper from now on and just put it in there and there you go from oh. then on way tastier pepper so good that's like my whenever i do like fredo or something like that and just Ooh. fresh ground pepper oh so it's a whole nother it's a whole new food i bet whole new world you've been doing much cooking these days not really. <laughs> I mean, I have like I I did the like I never do so. <laughs> There's one of those boxes that they send you it like monthly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that for a while, and I I love those. Um, the problem is like it feeds really well for like either two or four. Oh, uh, not just one. So so some things would like keep well, so I could eat it like twice. You know, keep yeah. leftovers. But it, I felt like it was like fifty percent of the time. They didn't keep well in leftovers or, you know, whatever. It, it took too much time the second day, and I was like, I don't want to prepare the same meal twice. Yeah. In a row. That makes um, sense. So I, I pause it for the time being, but I think I'm going to bring it back just because <laughs> my my diet the past, like, month has been, like, Kit Kat's coffee and <laughs> cereal. Like, yeah. 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 Not the best. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I feel like... If I, I had do time to it, take yeah. up cooking, that's kind of like how I'd want to start learning it. Yeah. That would be like the best way to start learning my way around different kinds of, like, different kinds of dishes. Yeah. I like it, too, just because, like, cost, like, f per meal and stuff like that. Like, even though you're obviously paying for, you know, shipping and all that stuff, like, it's hard to buy food for one and use it all with mm. fresh ingredients. Because, you know, like, there's so many times I'll buy, like, a... a like a loaf of bread and I gotta eat sandwiches like twice a day to get use of every piece of bread you before gotta it goes eat bad. bread like, so fast so I'm like <laughs> I don't want 12 sandwiches in a row yeah you know? <laughs> yeah so, no I understand so that's the thing I appreciate about it is like okay I can you know have a variety in my diet and I don't have to buy like so much wasted food because it's like here's here's just five carrots like you know maybe little baby carrots and you can you know it's like oh perfect yeah and i'm like i'm the kind of person who if i'm given myself the choice of like what do i eat or what do i get ingredients to prepare i'm gonna go for something pretty like i'm the kind of person who goes with pretty safe bets yes. all the time it's like i know i like this i'll just get myself this stuff yeah it's, it's hard to make myself be adventurous but if i'm just given prompts like here's stuff to make this kind of meal then I'll then I'll probably try. I mean, like, okay, I'll give that a try. That could be kind of fun. Yeah. And maybe find something I love. Uh, yeah, there's there's been a few dishes that I've tried, and I'm like, yeah. wow, this is, you know, this is fantastic. And like, I saved the cards, so like I've made them on my my own after the fact. So I was like, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. It kind of is, yeah. Come on, heal up, bud. Someday when I retire, I'll learn to cook things. Yeah. It's fun. There's definitely a few things that, like, I immediately learned, like, I hate cooking this or this, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. And I feel like anything involving, like, dough, I I, I just get frustrated. Uh, like, yeah, like, breads and doughs seem definitely intimidating yeah. to me. 
Like I, I don't cook, but I like binging with Babish is a hundred percent like my one of my go-to, just like all right, end of day, chill mm -hmm. out, uh, YouTube type thing. So I love watching it. So I've learned a whole lot, but never actually practically applied it. And doughs and bread seem so finicky. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what is like. And then like you'll be doing good, and then you'll get a tear, and you're like, it's ruined. Like, like <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. Everything, everything else though, I've like enjoyed. Oh, look at Mr. Oh boy. Fit. Mr. Fit. Ah, there you are, Furball. Event two is the sack race. Find a sack from somewhere and race me to the finish line. Okay. We just learned. Oh, there's a little shortcut the thing there, oh, too. Oh, it's a dicey one. It's are you dicey, going for it, though? But I feel like I gotta. I see you have a sack, Furball. Fancy a little race across this thorny course? Ready? Three, two, one, go! Yeah, you know, I, all right. I, I would say doing, jumping across thorns in a burlap sack would not be an enjoyable experience. I agree. Look it's, at you, crushed it. This is nothing. He's he's still he's still starting the race over there. Are you sure you're Mr. Fit? What? You must have cheated. You ain't won yet, Furball. See you around for event three, which will probably be the race. Where's, where's he? What's he? What's he gonna do here? Oh, this oh, camera boo. cut! Boo. Come on! Boo. <laughs> Show him doing something stupid, even if it's just boing, yeah. jumping all the way down. Come jump. on! Also, there's a really high red platform over there. Do you see that? Hang on, to your right. Oh yeah, oh, I should oh. try flying to the top, huh? Shouldn't I? Maybe. What the heck's up there? You know. You know. The yeah. Thing? All right. After I go, get the bird back. Get and maybe go man. win. Event three might just be only Kazooie. Now that I think about it, well, there was. Uh, I mean, you. I think it was racing shoes. So I think you do it in either. Maybe. Let's try going together. Boom. That's simpler. <laughs> we still haven't been to the trash bin. Kind of disappointed. Trash bin. That one we need just Ow. Kazooie, or at least just Kazooie to open it. It seems. Oh, the trash bin. Yeah, because there was a trash bin button in front of it. Oh, oh gosh, I didn't know that's what that was for. Uh, okay. I don't remember how we got there. We took a really long flower. Yeah, I don't remember how we got there either. Ow, oh, come on. Cheap. That was, that was... You know, I guess if I just die, I'll get Kazooie. There we go. Problem solved. Don't be so dramatic. There we you? go. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Drink some water. Yeah, so now we want to go up the uh, climb path right. that we did with Mumbo. Yes, yeah. here we go. <laughs> Dan is miming, like, xylophone jamming out. Or marimba. Hmm. This yeah, is marimba. I think it's marimba, yeah. Yeah. There's something so satisfying though, just about like a marimba hit. I don't know why. Like it sounds, it's a great sound. It's just, it's just pleasant. Oh, I should got shoes. I can't hide from you, can I, Furball? Event three is the last one involving a sprint race to the finish line and the gold medal. Fancy your chances? Not yet. Not until I've cheated. <laughs> Intimidated by my physique? It took me years of training to look like this. Well, good for you, Mister Fit. <sighs> but I'm about to. Oust. Well, that's not that's not the word. I'm about to put all of your hard work to shame with the power of technology. Yeah, that's we, the real we used lesson our here. Brain. We're ready now. He doesn't even know they're magic shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Bye. Oh, you are pretty fast, actually. Oh, we might need just Kazooie. Not just Kazooie and the shoes going speedy. Yeah. Hey, good for you, buddy. Wow. Get that confidence back. Pretty quick. pretty quick. So fast. No need for a photo finish there. Mr. Fitz still the champion. How about a rematch? Yeah, give me a minute. I'm gonna lighten the load. Hop two. <laughs> hey, they pulled back the hop. Two, three, four. Hop two, three, four. Just pitched it down a little bit. That's cute. Good catch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, so now that we've heard all the like main level themes. Yeah. Do you have a favorite mm. that stuck out? The, um, I wish I could remember all the 
Okay, this will be easier. Uh, we can pull up levels here. Oh, you know what? You want know to be a, a fun test to see how our memories do? Oh, just like listen to the music in isolation and see if we can guess what the uh, level is? No, just this, and we'll see if we can remember that. Uh, I bet there's... I'm going to have a hard time with that. Here, I'll mute the pause music for us here. Where did I put the... Was it here? Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Maya Hem Temple. I don't know if I can hum most of these from memory. I don't know if I have them internalized yet. Um, there was some. There was mumbo like chanting in it. I remember. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't remember. I, I don't remember. Hear, I can feel the rhythm, but yeah. Yep. Uh, but my hymn was okay. I think this is a contender for my favorite. I think glitter glitch was my favorite yeah. too. Uh, and I can like I can. This one's on the tip of my tongue too. Yep. Uh there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this one, this one rocks, and this this might have won out. I don't remember Witchy World at all. I don't. Yeah, Witchy World's theme. I think it's real more ambient, but I I don't remember it. Uh, it's been a while since we were here, man. Yep. I'm 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 realizing now I can't actually name a lot of them. Like Pterodactyl Lands was okay. Uh. Grunty Industries was okay too. Like they've all been. Yeah, I like, actually fine. liked Grunty's Industries going back. Like, yeah, that one was pretty good. Hailfire Peaks, I also don't recall. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I like. They've all been pretty decent. Like, it's been another solid. Yeah. Like banjo soundtrack though, on the whole. Okay, so we need Jess Kazooie. We need shoes. We need Jess Kazooie. Up the ramp. Yes. Frigo. I really. It oh, is kind of helpful what, having what's this the text on on their little split up pads. Can you? Oh yeah. Uh, some people in comments pointed this out. It's gaha and bree. That's very good. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I love it. Definitely visible on the N64. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I appreciate the split pad being centrally located, easy to find. It's like, yeah. okay, here's all your challenges. Here's the center space. Everything branches out from here. Ah. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, yeah, seeing, seeing the level with like a different set of eyes has, has made me enjoy it more. I definitely don't like the theming still. 100% agreed on that front. And like you mentioned a different set of eyes. I think having two of us here is making a huge difference because each of us kind of remembers different parts a mm -hmm. little bit. So, uh, yeah. Having two people here is making it a lot easier to remember stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, he's so, so, she's so fast. Speedy. Yeah. Two, huh? two. Come on. I want to race you. Huh? I want to race you. Huh? Two, huh? I see you have your running shoes. I will defeat you. You're good in a sprint, I'll tell you that. He's pretty good. And... Brum! Not, not, not Mr. Fit enough for Kazooie, though. Not Mr. Fit enough! Haha! -ha. I, I lost. I can't believe I was beaten by a bag of feathers. Take my medal, I'm off to the gym to train for next season. That's the spirit. You'll get him. Mr. Fit. What has not to spoil anything <laughs> for people who are just really itching to move on to um, nuts and bolts after this? What becomes of Mr. Fit in the sequel? He, well, like, so unfortunately, the the sequel, like, the the, the the nuts and bolts is just kind of like it just feels like featuring the cast of Banjo Kazooie. Like, oh, they're just kind of like all there, not really continuing their stories or anything. Yeah. Gotcha. Because the, the plot is essentially like... No one wants to collect a thon anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. Here's a, here's a kart racer no. game. You know, like... Oh. Like, they, they, they start by mocking the player who likes, like, the old games. I remember that. Which, like, it's kind of cute and funny, yeah. but, like, also, it's like, oh, but I did... I would like another, though. So, this is, this is gonna be way dated by the time this episode comes out. I heard just today that there is rumors of... A new banjo thing, a banjo coming back in some capacity. I don't know if that's true or if it's going to happen. Maybe it like, if it is going to happen, it'll probably have already been announced. Uh, you'll know because I freaked out. Yeah, but uh, we'll be very excited. And I, like, I feel like it's inevitable that it is going to happen eventually. 
but sooner would be would be great. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go back up there and just get that Jinjo while I'm here. We've been doing pretty good on progress in this place, I feel like. As confused as I am by a lot of it, like, uh, in just trying to get around. There is a specific jiggy in this level yeah. that I would like us to do. Yeah, okay, you know, that's actually, that's a great... Oh, and yeah, that, that's, that's a great prompt well. for, uh, for segueing into bringing the thing up. So, uh, after this episode, I think, if I'm counting right, we're gonna... Banjo-Tooie's gonna go on a slight break because there's another game coming out that Dan and I have literally no choice but to swap to and play because we're very excited. I don't think it's gonna be very long, so Banjo-Tooie will be back right after. But, um, in the meantime, we've now... We've gotten through all of the levels, or we've gotten access to all the levels now, and we got all the moves. We're not going to 100% complete this game, and after this episode, we're probably gonna start using guides a bit more to, uh, start getting Jiggies a little bit faster to get toward endgame. Um, but just to be sure we don't miss any particular fun ones or favorites of y'all's, in comments, y'all let us know what Jiggies would you like us to add to the list of ones that, like, we definitely go and get before finishing the game. I don't know if they, like, have names, like the Mario stars or anything else, but, like, if y'all have any particular favorites in worlds that we've not done yet, please write them in the comments below, and we'll put them on the list to prioritize getting them. Yeah. Uh, for today, though, now that I know I can't get through the red goo any other way. I'm kind of curious about this other one back here. Okay, so... Uh-oh. You know what I'm gonna actually do? Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, should I do this? Because I feel like I'm going against my grievances with the game. I feel like we should explore and find the Globo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm do not you, gonna look up where the globo is. Okay. Do you have any? Do you have like a gut feeling of where the globo might be hiding? We we still need one. We don't oh, need two. I we just need one. A... Yeah, we just need one more Ow. globo. Um, I feel like it's probably in this chamber, right? Okay. Maybe it's just one of the high up things. Maybe I just went like, to the highest. Yeah, I, think, I went to get to the Jinjo in one. I, I uh, think where you were going might have been like a, a new pathway for us. Okay. Yeah. Like we just have to kill that guy. Yeah. I gotta gotta do the same thing, but better. Uh. And I'm going the wrong way now. Hang on. Yeah, I feel like... Over there, there's, uh, eggs. And there's this button, which I don't get, but I'm curious about. Alright, so this little guy's gonna munch ya. Yeah. Come on. Gotcha, alright. Nice. It's not another one, right? No. <laughs> Oh, there's a little hole there. Okay. Yeah. So, a little a little one can get in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have a lot of these. <laughs> so that's not great. Oh, do we think I can push the switch, though? We will find out. We'll find out. I do really love this little version of the theme. It's very cute. Ah! Uh, oh. Can't push switch. Oh, oh hey! there we go. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, what? We got one of the numbers. Oh, that that's how you get... Interesting. So we gotta find three more of those. Wow. Okay, okay so what if what if we do this? What if we go outside, find a flight pad, and just explore the outside? We should now? do that. Let's yeah, do there's that. a lot of places we haven't even, like, touched yet. I forgot you came back. Surprised I'm alive. Boom, boom. There's flight pads, I think, by both Mumbos, and also... Yes. Yeah. Somewhere around here. Where we're gonna spawn. Yep, yeah, this will be faster, honestly. <laughs> I'm sure, right? Uh... <laughs> I think we can... You can almost feel yeah, Grant being, it's... like, shrugging, like, I don't know, man. Uh, well, uh, I think it's something wacky for this one. Something wacky, mountain, islands in the sky. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, so islands in the sky, are we thinking, like... Like Kingdom of Zeal, like Majestic. No, what is? Think the opposite. Think of that. <laughs> what is the opposite of that yeah. beautiful piece of music for the Kingdom of Zeal and Chrono okay, Trigger? Okay, question. Look yeah. down right here. Ooh. What do we got here? Something. 
I don't know. I, I felt like this was a. There's something. Oh, it looks like maybe a switch is there. Oh, I bet it's one of the switch combinations. I was, I was thinking it might have been. Yep. So there's like a little crack down there. It's a little crack. What's maybe you can down bust there? The wall? Oh, there's it's, a little. Oh, there's water. Water thing oh. here. Have we been there? I don't think so. Hey. The heck's, oh, there's a, okay. Well, sure. Found the globo. Globo. You giggling about? I'm about to feed you to a witch. I guess magician. To a, yeah. I don't actually know the term. <laughs> you know what? what is a humba. A, a humba. Oh hey. Oh. Hello. Hey, young man. I'm George Ice Cube. <laughs> Stuck up here at this perilous altitude. What happened, George? I was out walking on the icy side of the Hailfire Peaks with my wife Mildred when a huge blizzard came along and blew me away. Why not stay up here? Lovely view. I'm afraid of heights. Now, I reckon I'm above the icy side, so if you could just give me a little push. I mean, if this helps with heights. Yeah. That's not... <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to my son. <laughs> Never speak to me or my. It's like say hello. My oh come on, watch your tiny language. Kazooie again. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, clockwork kazooie. There we go. I'm sure I'll be fine. I feel like if you're afraid of heights, this is not how you want to get down. <laughs> no wrong side. What? Tell Mildred I love. <laughs> hey, you finally cooled the uh, water. Oh yeah. And more importantly, hey, flight pad. Hey, flight pad. Hey, look at this. <laughs> nice. Well, so now we can we can just go. Yeah, just, I think we should. Yeah. Right here. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. I am curious. I do want to see what I become. Also, real quick. Yeah. Can you go inspect that little um, that little device thing over here? Can you do anything to that? I have been. I've forgotten all about this thing. Um, it's just the little mouse. Can we like isn't it? hit it or anything? Like. Just like this thing should be at the cheese. Yeah, why does he want cheese? Hmm. Hmm. I I could be totally wrong here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably totally wrong here. Well, let's transform and see what's up. Okay. Oh, you know what? We might need to do. We might need to do something else before that activates. Oh. Okay. You have Globo. There you are. Any predictions? I have no idea in this place. No? Like, it could be... Will I turn into a 2D? They definitely won't, like, reuse an asset. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop as well. Oh! I'm a B. Well, okay. Wamba well, call this B. <laughs> we all do, Wamba. <laughs> <laughs> now you have a stinger tech, like, though. Oh, I'm a stinger. Hang on. Eh. There we go. Oh, yeah, he shoots. He shoots little z -z 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 stingers. And I can yep. fly and zip. Okay, cool. You can do the you can do the age-old fly. Yeah, it's one of those, like... I'm glad I got to play the bee again. I like the bee. Yeah, I'm, I'm game for that. This is what you do with the eyes, isn't it? Yes. Okay, you're right. Yeah, I'm glad. Thanks for the tip on that. Let's go handle business. This is probably, like... Hitting two different people's phobias at once. Quick, you fool! Pass the jiggy on! <laughs> bees and eyes? Yeah, bees and eye stuff. This is our brand. <laughs> <laughs> Grant us bee eyes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, sad bee. Sad bee. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But yeah, now we can, we can explore flying, too. Yeah, so, is, and we don't waste feathers. Yeah, this is even better. Just gotta find eyes. Any other? I think there was an eye on this. Eyeballs purple. feel like testing me. I'm oh, a bee. Wow! Don't you dare! Shred. Oh, do they track? They do a little bit. I think. They sure do. Okay, so that one's down. All right. Hmm. You know what? We're pretty high up. Let's go ahead and. There's that. Little space here. Oh, it's another number. Right on. Okay, we're gonna need to get another little clockwork dude in there. Probably. Ha 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 ha. Nice. Big on. 
so many much more stuff remain. around here. Jeez. And that was the sack race. Yeah. Uh, this, this was this was the other side where you right. built in the hole. I could just do that now, couldn't I? Yeah, maybe, maybe I maybe the bee's heavy enough. Maybe. I feel maybe. like in, <laughs> I feel like in Banjo Kazooie there'd be a jiggy just sitting right here right now. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. The the time to jiggy. Yeah. Like it's not. It, it's definitely not a question of better or worse, but I do kind of like that. Uh, there's some of these. Like I like the jiggies being a little bit easier and faster to get. Yeah. I agree. And that's my preference. It's the the more I've I've realized that Mario Odyssey is just the better yep collectathon. Uh like the more I appreciate cuz cuz you do have those some moons take you really long to get. Like yeah, you have you, to do a really hard challenge or yeah, something. Yeah, you got to earn it. Some of them are just hey, ground pound in this spot, and I don't know why I like that. Like, I like that too. I like some of them being like, oh, here's an easy one. Like you're always picking some up, but you know you'll like you'll pick some easy ones up on the way as you're trying to do some harder ones. And yeah, like Mario Odyssey really is just the perfect banter because we say, oh, Ooh. sequel. No, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I don't. Maybe it's just like because it relies on you having fun with Mario rather than like. Yeah, just running as Mario and jumping in in Mario Odyssey yeah. feels so good. Like, I've I've speed run Mario Odyssey and it like yeah, it's like an hour. Like you you can beat the game in an hour. But if you want to be completionist, there is so you much game in there. There's it tons. Takes... Of, yeah, and it's like you have fun, so you want to keep finding more. Whereas no. I feel like when you have only these to work with, <laughs> now shoot this lots of times. It's <laughs> pretty cute. Okay, surprisingly challenging. Since I can't just hover. One more. Ah, oh, okay. Your oh. shooting is not good enough. Oh, I was looking at the timer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, here, let me get a little distance and yeah. lined up for this. I think you have a dash forward, right? Oh, oh, I do. I didn't realize I did. One's, one's up, one's... Yeah, okay. All right. Oh. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Nice shooting. Why not come inside? Inside. Don't mind if I do. do. Um. I do like that they cut the music out when we're this high up. I do too. <laughs> Greetings. As you can see, we Zubbas have a new nest. To celebrate, we've arranged a little zooting game. If you score 40 points or more, we'll give you a prize. Manage to beat 50 points, then there's an extra special prize for you. Do you need any instructions? Blues were three, got it. Is really easy. Just zoot my friends as they fly around. <laughs> Try to score as many points as you can within 60 seconds. Blue ones are worth three. <laughs> I appreciate the consistency. Uh -huh. And red ones, just one point. Just one. All right. Where are you bees? Oh, you're small targets. Does home, so that is nice. That is nice. I appreciate that. Ah, blue ones. Blue ones. Yeah. Blue's worth three. Come here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> eh. You're so small. How am I to murder such small bees and so many They have a much numbers. bigger nest, too, than their previous one. Yeah, they really upgraded. They really did. Good for them. They really had a growing family here. Yeah. Well, rapidly shrinking, but... <laughs> they did have a rapidly growing family. <laughs> eh. <laughs> eh. Got a lot of points. We need a lot more, don't we? Oh, I think oh, that no, was it. I think you got way more. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I was th still thinking of the <laughs> last minigame. Cheeto! Amazing. You also got enough to win the first prize. Two. 
I appreciate they're giving me both. Hey. All right, let's have both of them. Get both, and then we gotta go find that other eyeball. Right, we should do that. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. I don't know how many we need for another cheat. Probably five, I imagine. I bet you're yeah. right, actually. I think, I think they've been doing fives. I think you're right. Do you want to play again? No. No. And if we do this eyeball one, we'll have 55, which is nice. Which means uh, we'll be able to get to the next thing. I know we need a lot more jiggies to actually beat the game, but... Mm -hmm. Still, that'll be nice. All right. So pretty cool. All right, where is this eyeball? Let's also be sure to check places we've not been oh, yet. We as we that castle too. Yeah. So there's the castle, trash bin. Uh. Yeah. Let's just kind of do stuff in order here. Oh. Oh, that was a different eye. Never mind. I thought I thought that plant was one of the eyeballs. Okay, Jello Castle. Jello Castle's got a, a jiggy in there. Got a jiggy it. in there, okay. I don't suppose we can do this as a bee. A tiny hole. It's is pretty it, small. Might need it. a clockwork. Might need a banjo. Yeah, it's probably a banjo. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't recall one being over here, but let's check. Really mm -hmm. glad that I've got like a fast speed zoom. Yeah, That's fast nice. speed. Liking that. Can really get around quick. Eyeball? I think there was one here, yeah. I yeah, think so. Yeah. yeah. You're doomed. As soon as I get my aim right. Hold up. Right, hang on. Get back. Yes. My eyeball is jiggy implants. You've killed them all. Yes. 55. 55. Eh. Yes. Happy bee. Happy bee. Okay, so now go back to Wumba. Go back to, okay. Humba Wumba. I can do that. It was one of these purple platforms, I think, right? Uh, Somewhere around here. I think so. She wasn't too high up. Yeah. Uh, I think she's on the other side of the mountain. She's around the river. Still so curious about this trash bin. Yeah, because there was the Kazooie button right in front of it that we saw. Right, yes. Okay. Just have no idea how to get it here. Oh, we gotta get that honey. Gotta girl. get this. No. Oh, hey, hey. Come on, guy. Zubba, this is Zubba and B violence. No one wants that. No one wants it. Granted, I just killed just like, what, 80-something well, points. <laughs> 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 Doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am done with B time. Let us complete one more task. What's the task we're doing? Okay, so now. Yes. Go to that little cart thing again. Oh, the cart thing. Is there a guest there? <laughs> no guest. Hmm. Did we? Yeah. Do both of the Canary Mary races in Clear Gulch? I don't think so. I think we did one. We should do the other one. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that. All right. Well. All right. So that's one that is on our list yeah, that's of a, that's to do. That is a essential Banjo Tooie experience, <laughs> Jiggy. Great. I love the <laughs> I love the delight in your voice as you say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's one that's definitely on the list of the... I don't know how many we need in total to beat the game, but it's more than 55. So we're going to start putting together a list of the yeah. jiggies that we're going to go get. And we'll probably use a guide to do it so we can speed it along. Uh, but not right away. We'll have something else to be playing first. You can probably guess what it is, but if you can't, it'll be a fun surprise. Banjo-Tooie will be back right after that, though. So until that happens, thank you all very much for watching, and we will see you again soon-ish for more Banjo-Tooie. Send us your recommendations for Jiggies to get. Bye! Goodbye!